Find yourself in a comfortable seated position, sit up tall, begin to feel your sits bones rooted to the earth and acknowledge your breath in and out. Place your hands in prayer at heart center and set an intention for your practice, a word or a string of words. Go to it whenever you need it to create space between your thoughts. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, deep breath in. On the exhale, twist to the right, left hand on the right knee, breathe into the twist, sit up tall. And now just move to the left, breathe into the twist once again, let your eyes turn with you. Come back to center, inhale, reach the arms up. And on the exhale, fold, lead with your heart, creep your fingers forward, relax your head, wake up the hips. Keep breathing. Slide up nice and slow. Let's meet in tabletop position. Come on to all fours, shoulders above the wrists, hips above the knees, tuck the toes under. Inhale, cow pose. Relax the belly, look up, hips up. Exhale, cat pose, toes pointing away from you, round the spine. Inhale, tuck the toes, relax the belly, cow pose. Exhale, cat, press the heart up to the sky, relax your head. One more, inhale, cow pose, create a U-shape with your back. Exhale, cat pose, rib cage to pelvis, get all the air out. Come back to neutral position. Step back slowly into plank pose. The modification would be to stay on your knees and journey right into downward facing dog. Breathe, heels descend, hips rise. So a modification would be bending your knees or coming into child's pose. You can pedal out your heels. Press your heart towards your upper thighs. Open up the fingers. Slowly walk to the top of your mat and on the inhale, flat back, half lift, heart draws forward. Exhale, fold, get all the air out. On the inhale, reach up, reach the arms up to the sky. As you breathe out, fold it all the way over. On the next inhale, reach up, rise up out of the waist as you root down at your feet. Exhale, fold, get all the air out, empty the lungs. Inhale, reach up, rise up, link your breath to your movement, hands in prayer up top, and on the exhale, pull the energy to heart center. On the next inhale, arms come up, Urdhva Hastasana. On the exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Flat back inhale, half lift, heart draws forward, very slowly, step the right leg back, drop your knee, toes pointing away from you, gazing forward. On the inhale, sweep the arms up, deep breath in. Exhale, bend the elbows, cactus arms, feel the expansion at heart center. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, lower your hands, frame your foot, gazing forward. On the next inhale, left arm up. As you breathe out, lower your hand. Tuck your toes under, straighten the right leg, Step the right foot to the left, fold crown of head towards your mat. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, step the left leg back, drop your knee, toes pointing away from you, gazing forward. As you breathe in, arms come up. As you breathe out, bend the elbows, cactus arms, open the heart. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, lower the hands, get all the air out. And on the next inhale, right arm up, deep breath in. On the exhale, lower your hand, frame your foot. Tuck the toes under on the left, straighten the left leg. Step the left foot to the right, fold. Flat back, inhale, half lift. On the exhale, tabletop position, shoulders above the wrist, hips above the knees. Send the right leg straight back behind you. You can keep your toes on the floor as a modification or lengthen that right leg, flex your foot, level your hips, and if it's available, lengthen the left arm. Breathe. Find a focal point, your drishti, your concentration with your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, tabletop position. Left leg straight back. If it's available, lengthen that left leg, flex the foot. Right arm extends. Every inhale, find length. Every exhale is a blessed opportunity to go deeper. Back to tabletop position. Check in with your hips. If they're tight, open up the knees. Sit back on your heels and lower your upper body onto your mat. Feel the arms and elbows heavy. Relax your forehead. 
open up the fingers. A modification would be to stack your fists and place your forehead on your fists or a rolled up blanket or a yoga block. Breathe into child's pose. Come up nice and slow. Have a seat on your mat. Swing the legs forward, straight legs in front of you. Staff pose, Dandasana pose, shoulders above the wrists. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold, Paschimottanasana, forward bend. Check in with your shoulders. Keep breathing. Come on up nice and slow. Bend the left knee, let your knee drop to the earth, sole of foot on your right leg. On the inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, fold, Janusha Shasana. Come on up nice and slow. Lengthen your left leg, bend the right knee, let the knee drop to the earth, sole of foot on your thigh. Inhale, arms reach up, and on the exhale, fold, keep breathing. Come on up slowly and place the soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana. So hold on to the feet, ankles, or shins. Look all the way to the right. Maybe get a peek behind your shoulder, working out the kinks in your neck. All the way to the left. Come back to center. Inhale, sit up taller. And on the exhale, fold. Relax your head, keep breathing. Begin to come up slowly. Bring the knees together and lie down on your mat. Feel your spine in the back of your head grounded to the earth. Bring the knees directly to your chest. So you can stay here as a modification or come into happy baby, opening up the knees, flex your feet and thread your arms through your legs. Grab the outer edges of your feet, pinky toe sides, and give a little rock shoulder blade to shoulder blade, massaging your spine. If child's pose is not available to you, hug your knees to your chest. Keep breathing. Lower your legs onto your mat, knees above the heels, feet about hip width apart, arms down alongside your body, and just begin to slowly bridge up here. Keep breathing. Send the hips up, heart as well. Gaze at the ceiling, and if you'd like, you can interlock the fingers. Feel the length in your arms. Keep breathing. Slowly unwind, lower down, lengthen the arms to a T. Let the knees fall to the right as you look to the left. Breathe into the stretch in your spine and in your glutes. Come on back to center. Let the knees fall all the way to the left as you look to the right. and then slowly come back to center. Arms down alongside your body, palms down. Lengthen your legs up to the sky. So the modification, hold on to the back of your legs. You can keep a bend in your knees. Yoga can activate all 11 systems in the body. Keep breathing. Give your right knee a hug and lengthen your left leg onto your mat. Really find length in that left leg. Bring the right knee directly to your chest and then rotate the knee out to the right. You can create little circles if that feels good. And then guide the knee all the way to the left as you look to the right. Keep breathing, go back to your intention. Lengthen your right leg, bring the left knee to your chest, check in with your shoulders. And then let the knee fall out to the left. Create circles if that feels good for you. And then guide the knee all the way to the right as you look to the left. 
Breathe into any tightness or discomfort, knowing that you're allowing those sensations to move through you so they're not festering in your body. Come back to center, lengthen your legs onto your mat and bring your arms overhead. Stretch, activating your lymphatic system, getting that blood flowing. Reach the fingers, point the toes, flex the heels, keep reaching, keep stretching. Take a deep breath in and on the exhale journey into Shavasana. So find a comfy spot on your mat, fix your shirt, fix your hair, get your fidgets out, take your time, and then see if you can cultivate stillness and awareness simply by going back to your intention and following your breath. Release tension in your toes. Let your knees rotate out. Soften all the big muscles in your legs. Soften your hips and your belly. Breathe at your heart center. Soften your throat, unclench your jaw. Relax the space between your brow and your forehead. Breathe at the crown of your head. Feel that breath flowing down your shoulders, arms and elbows heavy on the earth right to your fingertips. It's very rare that we are still when we are awake. No phone, no people, nobody to care for, just you and your mat. Take this time for you because you deserve it. Follow your breath. If thoughts come in, go back to your intention. Keep breathing. Enjoy your rest. Begin to invite gentle movement back into your fingertips and your toes. Come back to this space. Bring your knees directly to your chest. And then whenever you're ready, roll your entire body to the right side of your mat. You can use your right arm as a pillow. Left arm dangles in front of you. Garbhasana pose. This pose is a gentle reminder that you always have an opportunity to begin again on your mat and in your life. Come up slowly, find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Place your hands in prayer at heart center. Bow your head to seal in your practice. Place your prayer hands at the crown of your head. May you know the truth. At your mouth, may you speak the truth. At heart center, May you feel it. May all beings everywhere be safe, happy, healthy, and free. Thank you so much for sharing your time. Blessed be.